Well, hello, I'm Nathan Judor. I'm here with Walsall reporter who's still in the office at Express and Star Towers, Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe, because you're still in the office late at night, does that mean yeah. we've got some sensational late breaking news coming out of the Banks' stadium? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. No, oh. he doesn't. No, um, quiet deadline day. Um, no incomings, no outgoings. Um, Walsall's business for the month. Uh, wrapped up, obviously going into into today. Uh, three uh, departures, four new signings. Although one of them was making a loan deal permanent, so it's kind of three new faces and three departures. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's not it's really difficult quite. time, and it's difficult to yeah. sum it up. I think yeah. with everything that's going on, with with the results, with 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 everything off the pitch, on the pitch, you know, are they in a better position than what they started the window in? Would you say? I don't. I can't categorically say that. To be honest, I I, I think one or two might argue that the squad is even perhaps a touch weaker. Um, so you you look at the business as a whole, and you know, of course, started the month in a. In a, in a thought, a very bright manner, really, in, in signing Ronnie Ronnie many years to a to a permanent deal. I thought that was deserved. I thought he'd be brilliant while on loan. Such is football. Uh, sometimes he's yet to put in a you know a display of a similar level since making that switch permanent. But hopefully he does soon. Um, in terms of outgoings, I lost Ash Taylor, who you know for me wasn't a great loss. He he struggled to really get going during his time at Warsaw. Uh, of course, lost Altis Khan, who for me was a big loss. Um, you know, a player who during his short time with the club provided goals, provided assists, and who hasn't been replaced really by the end of the window. And Kieran Phillips leaving as well. And while he was a player that, you know, kind of found himself in and out of the Warsaw team and largely used as a sub, the fact that he's now ended up at Exeter City, um, which is the main piece of business this deadline day, the fact that he's ended up there now, and he's playing there as a centre forward, just kind of leaves you feeling a little bit short change. So the jury's out, really. Of course, a few signings for Warsaw, uh, Devante Rodney probably being the most exciting centre forward coming in from Port Vale, Reese Devine from uh, Manchester United, a left back who could potentially be you know, a very solid addition. And then Donovan Daniels, the centre half, who had a great debut uh, against Bradford, but then, you know, kind of flattered to deceive like, uh, last weekend. So the jury's out, really, as things stand. Um, you know, hopefully, we can look back on this window and say, yes, it was a success. But at the minute, um, it's just we've got to wait and see. But Warsaw really don't have time on their side. No, they don't. Um, look, I mean, the season's... I, would say, I say the season's kind of over, but it's not over because if they continue doing this, Joe, um, they're going to be in a relegation battle pretty quickly. There's a lot of pressure on Matt Taylor. There's a lot of pressure... You know, coming from the fans, that they want, you know, they want things happening pretty quickly here. And you can understand their frustration. You know, there was a lot of optimism at the start of the season. But if you keep on losing games, you know, the manager spoken saying saying that he understands it's a results business. It's a, it's a difficult time, isn't it? And I think for the first time, you know, questions are, are kind of being thrown at the manager, at the, at the I guess, at the, the back room, at, at the hierarchy. It's not a great time. And they need to turn this around quickly, don't they? Well, these some of these new signings have got to try and help them hit the ground running. We also need a spark from somewhere um, because, at the minute, they're sleepwalking into a into a relegation battle. They're they're ten points clear of it as things stand, but that doesn't really give you a, a great sense of comfort. Um, you just look at the fixtures that are happening. Um, the bottom two play each other this weekend, so if if you know one of those team wins, you know, and Warsaw lose to Northampton, which based on current evidence, you'd expect them to. Then it gaps down to seven points. Then they play Scumthorpe next week, you know, currently bottom of the table. But, you know, if they were to lose that game, it doesn't really bear thinking about it. And that could be you know, just four points off it, you know, if, if if results end up going that way. So, Walsall, yeah, the season is far from over. I mean, it's it's far from over from... Well, it's, it's certainly over in terms of any... Uh, you know, promotion ambitions that were holding towards the start or faint hopes of getting into the playoffs. I mean, they're categorically dead and buried. They're absolutely nowhere near that. They've been nowhere near good enough. But they've got to fight on their hands now to just make sure they don't get sucked into a dogfight because based on recent evidence, you wouldn't really want them to, to get sucked into that because 
they haven't picked up back to back wins this season. They haven't found momentum. They've not picked up results, and that it's five straight defeats. So you're looking at these signings. Hopefully, Devante Rodney being a striker who has at least got some sort of scoring record in this division. Not prolific by any means, but he has scored goals for Port Vale. So hopefully he can come in and give them a few goals to just give them a bit of a cushion and um, kind of lighten the mood at Walsall because, by God, do we all need it. Joe, go home. Go and get yourself some orange chips on the way, a, a beef chow mein pot noodle, a Snickers, and just, just tuck yourself up and, and, and just, it, it's not happening. You know, get yourself under the sheets, get yourself a good night's sleep. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.